All right. So let's talk about communicating with filmmakers or just communicating with other people that you're collaborating with. All right, so let's see how ridiculously short this video can get. So basically, I'm working on this scene from a film, and a lot of the time when we're working with filmmakers or even when we're collabing with people on music, you need to communicate about time-based information, so where something's located, for example. And so one of the things that we can do that's a really handy feature of Pro Tools uh, is what we can do, let's say, for example... So right here I have a gunshot. So if I hit tab here, I am at the beginning of the gunshot. Oh, I'm not at the beginning of the gunshot. So I'm gonna go into tab to transients and then I'm gonna hit tab. So that's about the beginning of the gunshot. So let's say I'm at this location, I'm at the beginning of the gunshot, I wanna communicate with the filmmaker where the gunshot is located. Well, if we go up to the main counter here, you can see the exact time code for where it's located. So what you can do is you just click and it highlights the entire time code, or you know, if you're in minutes and seconds or whatever parameter you're in, it'll highlight the whole, whole number. And then what you can do is just do Command C, and then if you want, you can switch over to like your messenger or, you know, I've just did a, a text document here, but you can switch over to wherever you want to then paste that information and you can just paste it. And there you go. So 2821, 2821, it just pasted that info for me. And so now I could take notes on that. I could say, you know, here's where the gunshot is. I can add that to a whole series of notes that I'm sending over to the filmmaker or to the person I'm collabing with. So it's just a super handy detail about Pro Tools that I think is pretty cool. And you know, if you're using this and maybe the person that you're talking to isn't someone that uses time code, maybe you're more in the music domain or wherever, you can always click on the little drop down here. So there's a little arrow here for both the main and the sub counter and you can change the units of measurement here. So I can switch this to minutes and seconds. This one's already on bars and beats, but I could switch that to time code. I can make it so that there's just one counter here or I can bring the sub counter in if I want to see both at the same time. So a lot of the time when I'm working on film, for example, I'll have the time code and then maybe something else here like minutes and seconds or I don't know, whatever, whatever I feel like. Feet and frames is good for film. I haven't used this a ton though. So I don't know. Maybe you're more of a video person than I am though. So who knows? Anyway, the point is that you have it here and if you want, you can always copy and paste your location over. So and you might notice with bars and beats that when you click, it doesn't highlight the entire thing, but it will copy it. So if I do command C here, and then I wanna go paste to tell someone, oh, here's the location for this thing, it'll paste the entire bars and beats information, if that's the right way to say it. Anyway, I hope someone out there found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And we've been hanging out on our Discord server on the Patreon. I guess it's not technically on the Patreon, but we have a Patreon Discord server that we've been hanging out on. We've been doing a book club that's been a lot of fun. And uh, my patrons do get access to additional content. So other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. Got like hair in my mouth. <sighs> so uh, this is my favorite t-shirt right now. I don't know if you can see it. But I basically, I don't like thinking too hard about what I'm wearing. So I tend to just kind of wear the same stuff over and over. And AJ teases me and calls me a cartoon character because of it. But um, I don't know if I care. Okay, bye.